afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. John Belkowitz here. I uh, got to do an awesome project with my kid uh, this past weekend. Uh, it was uh, we were looking at the impact of sugar on concrete, and my, my kid is seven years old. He's uh, engineer, scientist, you know, oriented mind, and uh, we we have a great opportunity to do experiments. And he learned about the concept of a hypothesis, a guess. So we talk about concrete a lot, and the question was, what would sugar do to concrete? So the hypothesis was, the guess was, that sugar would increase, or excuse me, increase the set time or reduce the degree of cement hydration over a shorter period of time. It would take longer to get to that same maturity, and we would see that in two ways. The first way, with, again, our hypothesis, if we had no sugar, our temperature over hydration, this being a 24 hour period, would look like this pretty little bell curve right here. And as we added more sugar, we were gonna see a lengthening of that curve, as well as a dropping of that maximum temperature over a shorter period of time. And because of that, what we were going to see is a huge reduction in our early strength. Here we said seven days and a gain in uh, strength at our later days. And we're gonna, we've got a bunch of samples that we've got stored. So right now we only have 48 hour strength, but what, what you see here is ding! Here's the actual results. We did four mixes, and so our ba basic mix we're using from ASTMC 1260, 990 grams of cement, 404 sand, 440 grams of an ordinary Portland cement, wholesome type 1, 2. We had a 0.47 on our water cementitious ratio, um, and then we put in our increasing amounts of, of sugar. First, no sugar, then I believe it was 2.2 grams, then 20 grams, then 40 grams. And as you can see, there is a major reduction in our semi-adiabatic temperature curve, basically an insulated box where we're measuring the temperature over time. We did that over 48 hours. You can see that we're losing temperature as we add sugar. Yes, there is a bit of a spike where we get to those increased amount of sugars, and there is some discussion about adding too much sugar can actually cause an acceleration of hydration. Here we saw a little bit of a spike, but ultimately we saw this major reduction or maximum temperature uh, in our early stages of hydration, and then ding, as we go into our strength uh, data that we have thus far with our 28 hour strengths, you can see that we have a major reduction in strength as we increase the amount of sugar in the mix. So our hypothesis is uh, validated, we were right that as we put in more sugar, we were going to reduce the temperature of hydration during that 24 48 hour period. And then also because of that, we're going to see reductions in early strength. Now we still have yet to do the 28 day strength, but to be continued. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you got a lot out of this. If you have any questions, any concrete concerns, don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a great time doing these things for you. Go concrete. Beat asphalt.